Hey, riders, how you doing? It's another retro ride home review. And uh, this week, our retro review is going to be Haywire, which stars Gina Carano, Michael Fassbender, Ewan McGregor, Michael Douglas, Tony Banderas, and is directed by uh, Steven Soderbergh. But before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, starting with Apple Podcasts, as well as watch it on uh, YouTube. And then, of course, like us on Facebook and follow on Instagram. So, now let's get right into it. What is Haywire about? Well, Haywire follows the character of Mallory, who is played by Gina Carano. And... She's a contract mercenary-esque type person. And uh, she falls in with the wrong crowd. In other words, uh, something along those lines of folks that she knows wants her dead. So there you, there you have it. So that's the, that's the premise. Not a very original premise. Um, I must say. So let me, before I get into that, let me get into what I liked about this film. That's how I like to start. What I liked, what I didn't like. What I liked. First of all, the cast, if you heard some of the names that I was bringing up, I also forgot to mention Channing Tatum. It's a pretty strong cast. Um, and of course, it's a Steven Soderbergh film. So you kind of expect the fact that the cast is going to be a little good um, or uh, uh, filled with names you know. So I really enjoyed who was in the vid the movie. Um, and another thing that I really liked about this uh, film was I thought the fight choreography was really good. Uh, actually beyond good outstanding i just um the stunt doubles were masked well enough um the fighting was really good well you know and gina carano has an mma background so that was kind of highlighted a little bit in this but i don't know if this film came out before that or whether because this is from a 20 this is a 2011 film so i didn't realize that she was in the acting game that early in her career but uh um but yeah but the fight choreography was excellent um i, I have nothing to, to take away from from that at all um and uh along with that the editing within the choreography of the fighting um was really was really well done so those are the things i really liked about this film what I didn't like was the fact that I can't believe, well, let me back up. I know that not everything that a fabulous director does or has done is going to be a home run. It's just, it's very rare, very rare to have that happen. Um, and in fact, if, I don't know if it's ever happened. Every film being a slam dunk? I don't think so. And this is not a slam dunk for Steven Soderbergh. This is not a good movie. And what I didn't like was pretty much pretty close to anything, everything about it. Um, the actors didn't feel like they, they were stiff. They didn't feel like they were into it. Story was severely flawed. Um, it's just very confusing. Uh, just, people brought in and then not developed. Uh, so the characters were underdeveloped. Um, and it's really difficult to do when you have such wonderful actors as you did. Um, I don't think Gina Carano was ready for being a lead at this point, And it showed, and I, I know why she was put there, but she, I don't think she's really led since. Um, uh, and, Having Michael Fassbender in the film and never not really using him is boggles my mind. Uh, I I just felt that the the music was terrible. It just took away from the emotions of the scenes. Um, 
And then there was some pacing issues. I mean, the film felt really long. Uh, and it's only 90 minutes. It just, it just dragged. Um, and then there was some choices that were made with cinematography and, and color that usually Steven Soderbergh is on point with this. He's really good when it comes to that, that style and that stylistic way. It's just, and with that, some of the editing choices outside of the choreography for the fighting were just, it just made you just shake your head. You're like, what is going on here? I'm, I was really severely disappointed in this film um, and what Steven Soderbergh used in, and it had done with this cast. You know, I would expect this to be more of a uh, student film type thing. And I know that sounds harsh um, coming from somebody of Steven Soderbergh's caliber, but that's exactly what I felt like it gave in some parts. It's like you asked um, seeing A-list actors to do a student film. And that was just because the story was just not there. Um, there are, like I said, a little bit of highlights, um, but not much. So, and what you should watch for in this film is how they use sound during the fight choreography. Those are the best. Those are the, and I wish there was more because this really, yeah, it really bombed for me. So you can catch this on Netflix um, if you want to. I don't recommend this film. This get gets a, a hell no from me. Oh, no. Hell no. So there you have it. So I'm out here putting one on the line for you guys to get you to not see something. But if you want to check it out, if you're a Gina Carano fan, you won't be disappointed, especially in the fight scene because she is a badass in this film when it comes to the fighting. And there you have it. That's the retro review for this week. Uh, stay tuned next time for another one. Like, and also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or on your favorite podcasting platform, starting with Apple podcasts, as well as like on like ride home reviews on Facebook, follow on Instagram on until next time. Watch something cool.